golf carts are a good utility vehicle in Georgia or here in Juliet just for the ease of getting to and from places, you know, that, that normally you'd have to walk. And my knees aren't that good, so I don't like all the walking. My name is Les White, and I own an old mill in Juliet, Georgia, that I built 15 cabins at, and I use golf carts here to help work around the, the museum and the cabins. Everything you do up here in Juliet is a little bit of a walk, so it's a lot easier riding the golf carts around. I believe I purchased five golf carts from Mike's Golf Carts. I have a motorcycle museum here that mainly it's Harley Davidson's from 1934 through 1977. We use golf carts for a number of different things. One, helping us clean the cabins and do our upkeep on the cabins. Our cabins are down the river, so they're, some of them are as much as a quarter mile away from the place where we rent them at. Two, recreational, out running our dogs and just having a good time. And three, maybe running to the store and running errands in it. And they just make life a lot easier because you don't have to go and jump in a car and run somewhere. You just get in the golf cart and go do whatever you want to do. I met Mike about five years ago. I purchased an easy go golf cart from a guy up in North Carolina for just a few hundred dollars. I took it to a place north of me in Jackson, Georgia that has a lot of golf carts and they, um, they informed me that I needed a new motor put in it that was going to cost me between sixteen and eighteen hundred dollars. So I just told them forget about it. I went up there and picked it up. We took the golf cart down to Mike's and um, I told them to call me back with an estimate on it. Three days later I came in there was a message on my answering machine. It said I could pick my golf cart up. Now they didn't fix my golf cart, I don't know what it's going to cost and uh, probably going to be more than it's worth. So I called them up and I asked them what was wrong with my golf cart and how much it was and they informed me it was some valve that was wrong, it cost me $65. So needless to say, Mike's golf carts won my heart then. <laughs>